What's up, people? Dragon Recon here, the most unknown person in the gaming world, and today I'm gonna be reviewing Dead Island for you. Dead Island is a zombie game. The story takes place on a vacation island, and you know, just picture yourself on the beach, chilling, sipping your lemonade or whatever and a zombie outbreak takes place so you're trapped on the island you gotta figure a way off the island and figure out what's going on that kind of thing most of the information you get about the main story will be through the questing system which is very Borderlands-esque this game is not really heavily story driven though so let me just get right into the combat so combat is where this game really starts to take off it's not overly complicated but it's not simple it's just right and it is a lot of fun if you ever wanted to just take a sledgehammer bash in a couple zombie skulls or take a machete cut off some zombie limbs or anything like that this game does it it does it pretty damn good so the core of the combat is designed around the melee if you're using guns which are in this game you're probably fighting the human characters or you're the character designed around guns but the main part of the combat is gonna be designed around melee in this game there's four different characters each designed around a different weapon type I already said there was a gun character there is a blunt weapon character there's a throwing weapon character and also a sharp weapons character there are quite a few weapons in this game you're gonna be looting them in a borderlands type fashion where they're in chest uh, you're killing stronger enemies for different ones things like that not only will you be looting tons of weapons but you'll be looting tons of parts to upgrade your weapons you can get these parts kinda in like a fallout exploration type manner where you're looting you know garbage cans closets that kind of thing these parts they consist from anywhere from a bar of soap to deodorant to nails and bolts and duct tape and batteries just a bunch of different things to upgrade your weapons you can upgrade your weapon in a regular fashion where you're upgrading the damage the durability that sort of thing or you can use these parts where you make a mod for your weapon like example you can turn a baseball bat into a baseball bat with nails all over it or barbed wire on it or you can make it a flame baseball bat or you can make your machete an electric machete or a machete with poison on it just so many wild different variations and it's a lot of fun other things you're able to customize other than weapons are your talent trees your talent trees consist of the fury tree the combat tree and the survival tree each character has their own flavor on those trees if you will the game I'll use as an example again borderlands the talent system very similar to borderlands each time you level you'll get a point you put it in your talent trees and go on your merry way all right dragon I got my weapons pimped out I got my talents in my talent tree 
What kind of zombies can I inflict some pain on? And I'm going to tell you right now. You got your slow, Night of the Living Dead style zombies. You got your crazy, running, fast, infected zombies. You got your big, slow, but very strong zombies. And then they start taking some Left 4 Dead ideals and throwing their own flavor on them. So these unique zombies are the Ram. He's going to charge at you and try to ram your ass. They have the Suicider, which walks towards you, tries to blow up. If he blows up near you, you die. They have the Floater, which is kind of like the Boomer and Left 4 Dead. His puke cover will make you vulnerable to fire damage. And then they have the Butcher, which I haven't encountered yet. I've seen gameplay and people on streams fighting him, and I'm not looking forward to fighting that thing. He's this crazy zombie with these spiky limbs, and he does not look fun. So while you're killing all these different crazy zombies, you'll notice that the graphics are pretty nice. There's some nice gore to be had in this game. Zombies with melting skin while they're on fire. Things like that. There's some decent environments you'll be killing them in. Get your jungles, your open beaches, some tight city streets and alleyways. The physics, they're on and off. Sometimes they're realistic and then other times a zombie will go flying back when you hit him with the bat but it's still a lot of fun one gripe I have with the graphics I think is probably a result of me playing LA Noir and I just noticed this a lot more the lips they don't move well with the words during NPC interactions but that's a very minor complaint and there are some graphical bugs here and there but Nothing crazy that I've noticed, but they are out there. The sound in this game is pretty decent. It gets the job done. Nothing special. There's good voice acting, bad voice acting. The zombies make pretty decent zombie sounds. And hilarious things like when you shock a zombie, They'll go into this screaming routine, which is funny every time, I think. And the music, it tenses up the mood a lot of times, but it's nothing out of this world. So, Dead Island is basically going to be some games thrown into a blender and made into a really nice milkshake. Or if you're lactose intolerant, maybe a smoothie. So, I would throw Fallout 3 into the blender, Left 4 Dead, Borderlands, and maybe Dead Rising if I had to, and that would be Dead Island. Although I haven't completed Dead Island yet, this is still a game I highly recommend. If you like any of the games i thrown into the blender, or you like zombie games in general, or games with a lot of replay value, this would be one to pick up. This game really does have good replay value. The zombies, they'll level up with you, and when you beat the game, you will keep all your current talents, all your weapons, everything, and you get to do it all over again, which is really nice. All this replay value and I haven't even mentioned the four player co-op in this game, which adds even more replay value. So that's about all I have to say about Dead Island. It's a pretty good game that any gamer I think would not mind having in their collection. If you guys like this review, go ahead and check out my LA Noir review, which is another great game you should get.
thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.